Okay, this is just going to be a few brief notes on um, 4 1 and 4 2, both of which sections can mostly be done in your calculator. Just wanted to clarify a few things in case you were um, unaware that the first section, 4 1, is about exponentials. Exponentials are anything that are written in this format, y equals b to the x, or f of x equals b to the x. So the x is in the exponent. That's what makes them exponentials. And the first section is mostly about graphing these. Um, you can put, plug them in your calculator. Um, it'll give you something, for example, it will give you g of x equals 2 to the x power minus 3 and ask you um, what is happening to this particular graph. Well, this one is being shifted down 3. 2 is the base, and so it doesn't necessarily change the graph any. So this one's being shifted down 3. Um, so this is with the exponentials, and that's pretty much what 4, 1 is. It's pretty simple. Section 4, 2 is about logarithms. Logarithms are the inverse of exponentials. So um, it will also be graphing. You will notice on your calculator you have a log button. Um, right down here next to the 7 is log. Right underneath that is a button that says LN. That's natural log. That's the same thing as log base E. And we'll talk a lot about that, um, a lot more about that later. But one of the important things that you need to know for section 4.2 is how to rewrite, to rewrite a logarithm as an exponential and vice versa. So change them back and forth because they are inverses. So you will have something written in logarithmic form, which would be log, y equals log base b of x. And they'll ask you to rewrite that as an exponential and that would be b to the y power equals x. So it's just been rewritten. And you'll notice that the base, this is log base b, is the same. So in an exponential, it's the big base. But the b value is the same. So let me give you an example. They might write it as... log base 2 of x equals 6, and they want you to write exponentially. And you would write that as 2 to the 6th power equals x, because the base becomes the big base, the answer becomes the exponent, and this value, which is called the argument, becomes the answer. So that's what they're expecting you to do when they ask you to rewrite it. Um, other than that, section 4.2 is mostly um, graphing. There's a couple of other properties that you um, might need to know. For example, if you have um, log base b of b, this automatically equals 1. So if I have log and the base and the argument are the same, it always equals 1. So for example, if I have log base 7 of 7, I can cancel that out because it's going to equal 1. And we'll be doing that a lot in the upcoming sections. I think that's pretty much all you need to know for 4.1 and 4.2.